Hey guys, welcome back to more Let's Play Wily Tower. And now we're going to, well, Wily's Tower. And, uh, yeah. The weakness of this bo level's boss is Bubble Light. I would recommend Bubble Light. So I can just get rid of this, and let's put in, uh, Leaf Shield, yeah. and let's go. Something else I didn't bring attention to in the last episode, like I told you guys the Japanese names, uh, Mega Man The Wily Wars in Japan is called Rockman Mega World. And yeah, that's what I forgot to say. I will look, make an attempt to read off every other subtitle of the Japanese games, because I know them pretty well. Like for Mega Man's 4, 5, 6, and 7. 7 is my favorite subtitle. I love to like that one a lot. But we'll get to that when we get to 7. Which shouldn't be for a while now. And oh great, big eye. At least with the slide, it's a little easier to get by. If you have Ice Slasher, it's a little easier here. I could have sworn it's called Ice Shooter, but who cares? Alright, here, use your crash bombs. Yep. And also in Wily Wars, Crash Bomber has a lot bigger range, so like it can possibly take out two, like, of uh, two Crash Bomber walls. But anyway, something I should also point out: look at the enemies selection. Like here, we've seen the big in this level. We've seen the big guys. We've got these classic hard hats, which are just like in Mega Man One. All those guys. The thing about the Wily Tower is it's structured like. The, the stages, they're all structured to, like, the number game they correspond to. Because, like, uh, this level is pretty much just like a Mega Man 1 level. Like, we even get these annoying guys, so I'm just gonna skip over with the Rush Jets. Does everybody really feel like it? get some more appearing and just putting blocks here. I'm not even gonna bother, because I never bothered to learn this pattern. <laughs> Sorry guys, but that's just how I roll. And here, if you have leaf shield, it can be nice. Because you can, like, dodge these guys. And you, like, won't have to worry about them. And hey, we're already at the boss. Like I said, it's weak to bubble it, so let's take it go. At least that's what I always use, it seems to work just fine. And we get... a dragon. <laughs> yes, this must be Mecha Dragon's cousin or something, but... This dragon can actually kill you pretty easily if you let your guard down and you're not, like, careful. And I like the bouncy platform, so you can bounce on it's nice. Ah, dragon's coming at us, ah. Kinda reminds me of Volvegia from Ocarina of Time. And... done. Hey. Alright. On to Wily Tower number two. I can't really tell if my emulator has, like, slowdown problems, but I don't really think it does. I mean, I believe the game Mega Man The Wild Wars has slowdown, but I don't really know. Anyway, uh, I'm going to be switching out my, uh, bubble lead for, um, air shooter. I'm also gonna want flash stop for this. The weakness of this boss level is a lot That's what I find works best. And look at all this stuff. It's like this is a Mega Man 2 themed level. We've got all these things from Mega Man 2. I'm gonna use the flash stopper here so I don't have to like wait. Oh, thought I died there. I have died to that before, and that is kind of frustrating. Look at faith. Yeah. Made it. 
here, look at this. There's two layers of these blocks, and the crash farmer here just blew them both up. And that's a question mark tank for the most from AM3. Not always helpful, like that one was just an energy capsule which just ended up disappearing. And anyway, let's just keep going. And now, great, these are the Metroid things again. Not really annoying, but, you yeah. know. If I haven't already stated, the, these things are called hot dogs. It's ridiculous as that sound, that is what they're called. And so it's just me. Do they, do they bear a striking resemblance to Rush. Like, compare them. I mean, I know Rush and Rush Jeff in there, but, like, just think about it. Now I think. Oh, and I should note. These stages are a bit lacking in terms of checkpoints. And I completely forgot I had Ice Shooter. You know, just freeze those guys in place since the only weapon from Mega Man 2 that destroys them is Quick Boomerang, and I don't really have that equipped. A lot of people say Quick Boomerang is like a really great and broken ability. I honestly never really use it that much. I don't know why, it's just the Metal Blade is better. because I don't want to run out of health. You know, I don't really have a problem using the E-Tank if I have to, but... Actually, there's one up there. But I'm not really going to get it because I don't need it. Because Wily Tower is easy. Just need to get some help, and I want that. And let me get it. Let me get it. Yeah, it's like two seconds away from getting it. Come on, really? And yeah, this part. I'm just gonna use an E-Tank anyway. I don't really care. I like hardly like, really ever need to use these things in Wily Tower. Cause I think I've like beaten Wily Tower before without losing any lives or E-Tanks. Oh yeah, and Wily to what? Wily Wars. When you get hit when you're on Rush Jet. Just like get bounced really far away for some reason. I don't know why. Yeah. Go down. And more of the boss. This is why you want to bring Airship for the sole reason of getting this Jumper Joe or Sniper Joe in your mech. Or whatever it is. I know these things are called Sniper Joes, but I don't know what the one from the mech are called. Hey, Airship works. Alright, for this boss, Elect Beam is your weapon of choice. Should be at least. It is this thing. A uh, a bouncy ball with a face that shoots Gemini lasers. That's something. But it's really easy. Like the Gemini lasers hardly ever come close to you, and like. Lucky and just so much damage to it, and I can actually hit it. Thank you. Oh, and don't die, because I'm pretty sure, like, in, I've died in this level and took him back to the beginning. But yeah, already done. Already put that.
died multiple times upon using Quick Boomerang on him, but Hard Knuckle, pretty easy. I'll see you in the finale.